Hello and welcome back to SchoolLab.com. This is your 11th tutorial on web design. In our last session, we created our navigation bar, which looks good on desktop and laptop device and also on mobile devices. When we click on this icon, our navigation link is displayed. And when we click on it, the navigation links disappears. So, but in this session, we're going to be creating what we call our image slider or carousel slider. So if you look at our go site, we have this image slider. Okay, the image is changing at interval and we have this caption also. So we're going to be creating this image slider in this session. So all we need to do is to go to our code editor. We're going to be creating a folder where we're going to be storing our images. We can either create it from our code editor by clicking on our root folder, then right click on it, then click on new folder. All right. So for the smartphone users, you do the same thing from the top right corner of your um, code, code editor, then you click on it and click on new folder. Then we could also use this format, go to our file explorer, then go to our root directory where we, our work folder is stored. For me, it's stored in documents. Then we'll click on our work folder. Inside our work folder, we'll create a new folder. We're going to be naming it as images. Okay. Once we are done, you go to your browser and go to Google and search for free images. Or if you have an image in your, um, some image in your system or your smartphone that you want to use, you can Google them, download your images. So I already downloaded mine. But once you downloaded, go and you can either move them to your images folder. Okay, move them there. Go back to your code editor. Click on the folder. You can see your images. They're already there. So the next thing we need to do now is to install a library called Bootstrap. All right. So to do that, we go to our browser, go to Google, and search for Bootstrap. All right. Bootstrap is a CSS and J um, JavaScript library. Okay. We use it for our web design also. So now we click on the first link, getbootstrap.com, right? Let me show you that properly. So we'll click on this link, getbootstrap.com. We we'll click on it. It's going to take you to the official website. Then for the top right corner, it has different versions. So we're going to be going with the version 4.6. Click on it. It's going to take us to the documentation of version 4.6. Then you can either download it and use it locally or make use of the CDN links, which is the content delivery network. All right. So we are going to be uh, copying this CSS link now. Click on this button to copy. Then we we'll go back to our code editor and we're going to paste it after our fonts also. Then we can take off this integrity. The integrity uh, cross origin. We take it off. Make sure you are careful so you don't take out the the main bootstrap um, link. Then once we are done, we are going to be installing the, the JavaScript link. So we scroll down and you see we copy this link also. Okay. You can see um, the heading here, JavaScript. So then you scroll down. After this bundle, there's a link here. Okay. After the bundle, there's a link here. You copy it. Then we're going to be pasting it at the bottom before the closing body tag. Then we'll take off this integrity also and take it off for the second one. Save. We save and refresh our work. Then you can see there is a change. In, uh, there are some changes also, um, kind of a padding or margin added to our work. And there's this space uh, after our uh, hovering background. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that space right now. So we'll go back to our styles, style.css, under our um, nav logo. We're going to be resizing our logo to 25. Okay, so once we resize it to 25, that should work. Okay, you see there's no more space there. Then we're going to be um, creating our image slider now. So we'll go back to Bootstrap. 
okay click on components components click on it then it's going to open up then you scroll okay and click on carousel after clicking on components okay you wait for the page to load you click on carousel all right so we're going to be making of the carousel like i said it's called image slider or carousel slider so it has different bootstrap have different um carousel slider so you're just going to choose the one go ahead and choose the one that suits your taste so we're going to be using the one that has a caption okay you see with caption carousel with caption all we need to do is to copy the code okay bootstrap has already um styled and created the code for us all we need to do is copy the code and paste it under our closing nav tag so we paste it here we save and if we should refresh our work our browser you can see the image um, icon is displaying that there's no image inserted already okay so let's let me explain what um every these bootstraps um classes and tags um represent okay so this ol stands for ordered list all right so first of all let's add an image if you look at this tag from here after the ol we have a div tag with the class carousel inner so this is this div holds like i said Ella, the div is a container it holds other divs so this div is containing each of our tags all right so after this div this div carousel inner we have carousel item so this carousel item is holding each of our images and each of our um captions all right so we have the first image and caption we have the second one so so it's been um categorized using the carousel item so you can see it, it's repeated carousel item carousel item then carousel item they are three in number then this first one has carousel item active the active means that anywhere you place this active class that will be the first one to display if i should place it here this will be the first one to display so let's insert images and see how this works so inside this img which is the image tag we have this source attribute the source attribute that's where we put the image link so we are going to be calling our one of our images here so the first thing to do is go to images then forward slash the name of the image okay img dot j okay img1 so just the way the image is the image name is written here that's how you're going to call it image1 dot jp G. all right this is the class from bootstrap that is styling this image okay this alternate is used to give uh, a caption to the image okay let's say we'll give it first image so if this um we save and refresh and the browser search for this the image with this name or with this link images then image one.jpg and it doesn't find it this attribute alt is going to um call out this name this is what is going to be displaying the alt is going to be saying okay first image instead of the source to display so instead of the image to display the auto display when there's no image but now we have an image we have inserted one image let's refresh and see you can see our first image is displaying okay and the caption is displaying also so if we should go back and let's rename it to an image uh, to another name that does not exist so whilst we do that you can see the image is not displaying it is the authorized and displaying which means alternate the alternative all right so let's go back and insert the remaining um images for the and the remaining carousel items so you can see it here after the carousel item you have the image so we insert 
So take this off. All right. Make sure you are copying everything or you are writing the names properly. Then image two. Then we'll go to the third one. Then images four slash ing three dot jpg. All right. Then we we'll save. So this alt is optional. You can either put an alternative or just leave it with the dots there. Okay. Once we we'll save and refresh, then. Now we can see our image is displaying and the slider will be going on. Okay. After some interval, the images will, will switch. When we come at the bottom, you see our different options. So we are going to be um we're not going to be using this image tag for the purpose of this tutorial. So we're going to be using a div for this. So we are going to take off this image tag. I'm going to be using a div, okay? So div. Sorry, before I take it off, let me copy the image link. Okay, I'll copy the image link. Then we we'll insert a div. Now we we'll give the div a class name of bg, which is background, background image. Then we're going to be using in line CSS, okay. In line CSS is when you style um, an HTML element or a tag inside of the opening tag, okay. So we're going to be adding a background image property, then URL, then we start the image link inside of it, okay. So we're going to do this for all of them for the three carousel items that we have, all right. So we'll take off this image. I can insert this, then, sorry, take off, let's copy this again, and take off the image tag and insert the div, then change the name of the, the image, then finally for the last one, we take off the image tag and insert this, and change the image, then if we should save and refresh, Nothing displays, okay? So we're going to be adding a styling that's going to make everything display. So we'll go back to our style the CSS. So at the bottom, so let me use a comment so that um, image slider, image slider. Okay, then I'll comment this out. All right, this is how to um, apply comments. Comments is just to give you heads up or directions on what those lines of code stands for. Okay, so we're going to be starting with the background with, the, with that class name, this class name here. So this class BG image. So let's copy it. Go back to your style. So we're using the, the dot because the class BG image, then open curly brackets. And we're going to be saying, So we'll give it a height. Let me scroll down so I can see it properly. All right. Of 100 viewpoints height. Then we we'll save. You can save. Then when we refresh, let's see. You can see our image is displaying now. All right. Then the next thing to do is to the um, set the background size background size background size okay because we we'll set it to cover so because what we're actually doing is we are giving this div a background image okay and we said let the height of the image <laughs> Occupy this um the div okay that's why I said hundred bh then the background size to recover then we refresh you see it's adjusting the image properly okay for better view then the next thing to do now we we'll position the background say background position it's at center 
So I'm just doing it one after the other so that we understand. You can see the image is becoming better. It's looking better. Then the next thing to do, I think we are good to go. Okay. So the next thing to do is to come over here to our index of HTML. And we are going to style the images, give it a height. Because if you look at our goal, our go site, the image is the image does not like does not cover the whole of the page. Okay, so I'm going to be giving this a height from here from our inline CSS of let's say 600 p pixel, and let's see how that looks. Go back and refresh. It's too big. Let's reduce it to like 550. Let's see okay it's better this way all right now you, you can see that the text is not that obvious right if you look at our ghost sites the text are obvious why the image is kind of dim so let's add a linear gra uh, gradient to our background image so we come before this url and say linear gradient okay linear Gradient, gradient, to make the image to be dim, okay, linear gradient, then you open bracket, then you say RGBA, so the RGBA stands for red, green, blue, alpha, you can read it up on, on Google too, to better understand what it means. So I want to be using color codes like this, 0, 0, 0, 0.5, sorry, 0.5, not comma 5. It's three zeros actually, another 0, comma. okay, this is it. Then we are going to set a comma after this bracket, right, I repeat this um, color code again inside of here but this time i'm not going to put the comma here i'm taking it off then the next thing to do is i'm going to put the comma outside it outside of the whole bracket okay then we save this pay close attention because if you don't do it correctly it's not going to take effect so you can see now our image is dim while our text is more obvious right now if you look you have we have some buttons here okay to navigate the page then if you look at our ghost site we don't have those buttons it's optional if you like you leave it if you like um you can remove it so i'm going to show how to remove it and not just the button we also have um some indicator at the bottom Okay, you can use it to navigate also. Then if you look at our the remaining two images, no, they, they don't have those these effects. So we are going to copy this code and replace them also. So we'll copy, come over here, we'll replace, then we'll change the name of the image to image two. We we'll come over here, we we'll replace it and change the name of the image to three and save. Alright. So once we refresh, we have a nice looking slider. You can see. Hello. So our image is looking nice. I will use this control. You can see them. They're all nicely shaped and placed. Well, we'll use this um, indicator at the bottom. It's going nowhere. Okay. So I think this is what we're going to be storing for this tutorial. I don't want this video to be that long. In our next session, we're going to be styling our carousel caption and we're going to be adding animation like this you can see the text has animation the bouncing and the rest so kindly subscribe to our youtube channel at school life and visit our website at schoollife.com and i'll see you in the next tutorial